Earlier in the school year, we were awarded the community school planning grant to engage in a two-year planning process to create five community schools. The five schools include Park Elementary, Laurel Elementary, Sunnybury Elementary, Lead Elementary, and Fiesta Gardens International School. One of the things that most excites me about this process is that it's really creating opportunities for kids and parents and our community at large to have a voice in what they need out of our community schools. I think our kids will benefit a lot from it. We have a lot of different socioeconomic background families and there's a high need here. Uh, we need all that support that we can get. I love the idea of here are our kids, what's gonna work for them, and let's build it up from there. Community school philosophy and, and the model that we are following is in sync with the belief structure and the foundation of our strategic plan. The community school model has four main pillars, extended learning, wraparound services, shared leadership, and community and family active engagement. Together, those four pillars is what will make the, the transformation from a traditional school in these five communities to a community school. With the Community School Partnership Grant, there's this immense focus on shifting the voice to the families. We have a schedule of community evening events in which I go out to these five Title I school communities, and I literally engage them in that process of empowering them with knowledge of the current system, and then giving them that input opportunity where they get to decide the needs of the school, the needs of the students, so far, it's been great. Give our voice out as parents. Es muy buena pregunta y este, pues me gustó eh, de la forma que está trabajando los directores, el distrito, y pienso con el con toda la decisión que que se tomó ahorita eh, va a haber mucho beneficio no solamente para mi hija sino que para todos los estudiantes y este y pues sí muy 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 bien de parte de De la escuela. When I was growing up, like 20, 20 years ago, I didn't have this. Having the, the parents participate in this, it's great. Sí, por supuesto, porque cada vez que venimos a las reuniones, comentamos y decimos lo que necesitamos. Y este, vamos aprendiendo un poco más también de la, lo que podemos obtener del distrito. No longer are families feeling like on the fringes of decision making, but they're actually at the heart of it. One of the most exciting things that we're doing here is providing student voice. Every uh, steering committee for every school is developing a student voice plan to really go to the source, right? Children have an idea, they know what's working, they know what's not, they know what more they want. The kids are excited too because I think that they're starting to to feel what are we going to do? You know, what can we do? What can we accomplish as a student body? In their school, and we're going to be very strategic, very methodic, and very kind of compassionate to their needs because we want to make sure that as we're crafting these five community schools, that you know it takes into account the student voice. I think this would help all the children because this is a great way for them to voice what they may need to better assist their kids. With this, right, comes this community school initiative to dismantle the school to prison pipeline actively in our district. So we're really looking at not unlocking the potential of every child, but we're looking at going beyond that.